Hello everybody, my name is Wood Isaac Bear from Mirror Shine Slab and today I did some questionable things with my parents before I started this video. So today we're gonna be looking at probability. So <coughs> what is probability? Well you probably already know. You're not stupid if you're watching an algebra two course. So probability is chance as we know it. But well, first of all, let's imagine we have bag. So let's say that this bag has two red marbles, three green marbles, and two blue marbles. So first of all, how many marbles does it have in total? Mm. Well, there is seven marbles. There are. Now, how many red marbles are there? Two. How many green marbles are there? Three. How many blue marbles are there? Two. So, if I put my hand in the bag and took something out, what is the chance I would take out a red marble? Well, since there are seven total things that I could take out, and there are two possibilities where I get where I want, which is a red marble, you get two over seven. Same thing with green and blue. And of course, when you add them all up, because one of these three is bound to happen, it gives you seven out of seven. Now, we're going to talk about things where there are two events that happen. Event A and event B. So what are they? Well, first of all, I'll use the game of Uno as a metaphor. I would have taken out my personal card set, uh, but we tried that out and since it's a windy day, we couldn't do it. Uh, uh, now all my Uno cards are dirty because they fell on the soil of my front yard. So, Uno. In Uno, there are 112 cards. Nobody cares about the foil card. So, there are 112 cards in total. But how many of each type is there? Well, there are 19 cards of each, 19 number cards of each color of each color. So 19 times four in total. Six action cards of each color. Then there are four <coughs> draw four cards. I screwed so many people over with that one. Four blank cards. And four wild color cards. Mm -hmm. So now, let's say I have a random deck. And when I draw from this deck. Mm. So when I draw from this deck, first thing I get is, say, a green number card. So I first get a green number card, or rather, let's say, a green action card. So I'm gonna draw a green action card over here. I'm not good at drawing. And then, let's say, the next one you take is a wild card. So now, these two events can happen separately, actually. Let's name these events. First event, event A. So event A is that your first card drawn from the deck of 112 cards is a green action card. And second 
And event B is the second card drawn is a wild card. So, in fact, these two can happen separately of each other. So first, I have five questions to ask you. One, what's the probability of A by itself happening? Two, what's the probability of B happening? Three, what is the probability of both A and B happening? We use this N-like shape to represent that. Four, what is the probability of both P, A, or B happening? And five, well, there isn't really a five, but five, you can prove that these events are independent. All right, so now here's our problem. So first problem, what's the first question? P of A. Well, how do you find the probability of A? Well, if that's your first card drawn, there are 112 possibilities for the first card drawn, and there are six action cards of each color. So six out of 112. Six out of 112 is also 17%. Two P of B. P of B will be second card drawn is a wild card. And there are four wild cards. And since it's our second card drawn, that would be four out of 111. P, A, and B would be six over 112 times four over 111. I'll explain why later. But this is something that's known as the multiplication rule. Where P of a, where p of a and b is equal to p of a times p of b but that changes with dependent events for p a or b that would be 6 over 112 times no, plus 4 over 111 minus uh p a and b which would be 6 over 112 times 4 over 1. Independent and dependent event is that P A or B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P A and B. And 5. Prove that these are independent. Well, these are independent because the probability of B happening given that A happens is the same as the probability of B happening by itself. So, how do you prove that? Well, this is equal to this divided by uh, that. And four <coughs> independent events, independent events are events that don't affect each other, then A and the probability of A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B. Divide that by the probability of A and you're left with the probability of B. So these are independent because the probability of B if A happens is the same as probability of B if A doesn't happen. However, let's say we change things up. So what will happen if, let's say, my first card is, and so let's say that I reshuffle the deck and draw again. So, the first card I get so the first card I draw is going to be, well, we don't need these anymore. The first card I draw is going to be a blue action card. So here is a blue action card. 
so it's blue. And the second one I draw is also going to be a blue acid card. Okay. So, this is also blue and an acid card. So, now, how are these two things dependent? Well, I'll show you. So, now we're talking about dependent events. So, for dependent events, first of all, we're going to have to find the probability of A, then the probability of B, the probability of A and B, A or B, probability of A given that B happens and the probability of B given A happens. Well this doesn't really mean anything. B given that A happens. Uh, third, P, A, and B. Now P, A, and B usually utilizes the multiplication rule which I'll just call the MR for dependent events. And what would that be? The probability of A times the probability of B, given that A has happened. Mm. Now, how does this work? Mm. Well, mm. this happens because if these are dependent events that affect each other, uh, and A affects B, and both of them happen, that means that B is affected by A. So this would not be the probability of B by itself, but the probability of B as it's affected by A. So P of A would be 6 out of 112. But P of B, considering A happens, well that's going to be a little different. P of B, considering A happens. So, this will be equal to P B of A would be six. if A happens then there are only five blue accent cards left. So that would be five out of if A, if a happens then B is still the second card drawn. So there are only 111 possibilities left. So now six over 112 times 5 over 111. So that uh, is P, A, and B. However, what is P, A, or B? Well, it's the same with the addition rule. Just this time, we can't use that times thing. So we have P, A, so P of A, 6, 112 plus P of B, minus P of A and B, or just this, over 112 times 5 over 111, is equal to, so that's P, A, or B. So, what about P, B, considering, A? oh wait, we already did that. Those are our five questions answered for deep. Now, let's look at our conclusion and get away from all this Uno crap. So, let's draw a little table. It's not very little, but still. So, this is the multiplication rule. This is the addition rule. Guess I should make this consistent. And there's four independent events, and then there's four dependent events. So, what is the multiplication rule for independent events? I can just erase this. Well, for independent events, it's P of A times P of B equals P, A, and B. For dependent, 
it's P of A times P of B, considering A has already happened. A and B. For the addition rule, it's for both of them, P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. So, and equal to P of A or B. So, that's it. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you next time.